The New York State Assembly says it is calling off the impeachment investigation into Governor Cuomo. The move has left some lawmakers stunned. This is Governor Cuomo breaks his silence for the first time since announcing his resignation. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from outside the governor's Manhattan office on the east side. Christina? Good morning, Cindy. In many ways, what Governor Cuomo had to say was nothing new. He again denied all allegations of wrongdoing and says he believes that if there had been an impeachment trial, he would have won. In his first interview since his shocking resignation, Governor Cuomo made it sound like he did the state a favor, telling New York Magazine, I'm not going to drag the state through the mud, through a three-month, four-month impeachment, and then win, and have made the state legislature and the state government look like a ship of fools. The interview took place the same day Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty announced the abrupt suspension of the impeachment investigation, while admitting there was enough credible evidence to result in articles of impeachment. This is a really, really bad look. Nassau County Republican Assemblyman Ed Raw is fuming over the decision. Given the circumstances, the best way I can help now is if I step aside. Hasty insists the state constitution does not authorize the legislature to impeach and remove an elected official who is no longer in office. So then why were so many committee members under the impression they could continue the investigation? One of the things that leaves a real sour taste in my mouth is to me, the speaker empowered this committee to undertake this investigation. I think they have to be permitted to take it to its conclusion. And as the NYGOP chairman pointed out earlier this week, the taxpayers have already paid the bill. Friday night, the outraged Republican members of that committee said in part, the decision runs contrary to the goals of transparency and accountability and represents an egregious insult to the countless victims of Governor Cuomo's actions. And perhaps nobody is more upset than the accusers. Lindsey Boylan was quick to tweet, this is an unjust cop-out. And Senate Republican leader Rob Ort is joining the chorus of voices this morning, also criticizing the decision to suspend the impeachment investigation. He is also demanding that the assembly publish the Judiciary Committee's findings. We're live on the east side. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.